Hi, this is Father Sebastian here on the Fang Shop Tour, and I am currently in Prague, a beautiful magical city, very ancient, known for its supernatural entities, its ghosts, witches, and all sorts of things. And I just saw the lady getting fish eating all the dead flesh on her feet. So here is the St. Charles Bridge and the entrance, and I'm going over the bridge now. From what I understand, the legend is is that uh, they buried 1,000 witches inside of the bridge, um, and we're going to walk across this together. And I thought you'd have a good time experiencing this, and hopefully you can join us for the Prague Vampire Salon next year, because it's going on this weekend. It'll probably be around the middle of March in preparation for the Paris Vampire Ball. Prague is a really wonderful city. Uh, the people are really, really welcoming and very nice. Um, we have about, about 100 vampires from all over Europe meeting here this weekend. And I can't believe how many French people are coming because, you know, I can't escape the Frenchies. So I wonder if we'll bump into anybody on the bridge. But look at this architecture. Look at that. And check that out. And that's real gold, evidently, on the top of the crowns. I'm surprised people haven't stolen it. <laughs> And uh, Czechoslovakia broke up after the World War, after uh, the Cold War, and Prague opened up and became a cultural center for all sorts of interesting things. It's very touristic, but it's still magical. Um, last time I was here, I was walking down the street and I bumped into a guy blasting a horn, dressed in something that would look like Vlad Tapish's outfit, you know, the real Dracula, <laughs> and. Wow, they were walking with Czechoslovakian wolf dogs. Um, I just made fangs today at the Hell Studio for people from Prague, of course, a guy from Romania, and all sorts of interesting people, including a guy from Slovakia. And they spoke perfect English. I was very impressed. So here's the bridge. Here's the old city. You can see the cathedral up there. I think, is that it? Where is it? Uh, where is it? There we go. And you can see some of the city there. So let's walk across the bridge together. I think this will be pretty cool. I should have my own travel show at this rate, but I think uh, making it on this old film is pretty fun. Uh, I love iPhones. Look at this city. almost to the middle of the bridge. Got about 100 more meters. I think that's 365 feet for you Americans. And uh, uh, tonight we're gonna have a meeting at the Harley Bar and then to a club called Necropolis. And I'm doing an interview with Ed Norrie of uh, East, uh, F, uh, is it Coast to Coast. I've been waiting for that interview for a while. So it's a pretty packed adventure. And tomorrow's the ball. We're doing a ritual to celebrate the birth of the vampire spirits of the city, a guardian spirit, and I'll show you that on the film thing later. Look at this. It's my third time in Prague, and I just fall in love every time I come back. The, uh, the city is famous for its golem. They have a bunch of ghost tours here, and it's very interesting because the city reminds me of a mix of New Orleans, Paris, in Amsterdam, it has the uh, rock and roll of New Orleans and the wild craziness because of the Slavic people and their, how open-minded they are. The second thing it, with Amsterdam, it's kind of, you know, that stuff is pretty accepted here, just like you would think in Amsterdam. And the third thing is it has the beauty of Paris. I mean, this city is just gorgeous. And it was the capital of many empires. And you'll see lots of mustard-colored stuff. You can't really see it here, but you see mustard-colored buildings. And these are the Austrian-Hungarian Habsburg uh, architecture. So this concludes my tour of the bridge. You can see it again. And one last view. And I'll be posting this on YouTube tonight. And I hope that you guys get to enjoy it as part of my Prague adventures. Uh, my next stop is going to be Barcelona. And after that will be Zagreb. And then I'll take two weeks focusing on Paris and preparing for the Vampire Ball. So, it's Father Sebastian. You can visit me at fathersebastian.com or Father Sebastian on Facebook. Um, 
that's Father Sebastian is spelled with two A's, don't forget. That's my signature. Very Dutch spelling. But again, wow, look at this. <laughs> I'm just in love. It's so cool.